Well, I'm flattered that someone some time ago ordered all these magazine publications to Entertainment Weekly, People, Fortune, uh, Time Magazine, and a litany of others that I'm receiving. Um, please look at the address that you used. I mean, fortunately, people at the Federal Building and the Post Office uh, know me. Um, so it got to me, but that address is wrong. Um, my address would be P.O. Box 24, 1971, not 91. I've never had that number. Um, Keeley, Los Angeles, Department 1971. Oh, the Department of Mental Health, uh, and not Mental Health, the Department of Healthcare Services. Um, State of California, somewhat correct. Uh, the feds with uh, my direct express for the money they owe me. Uh, I don't know how you guys keep changing the freaking address, but since when is a office suite spelled sweet like sugar or something else? Um, suite 105. That is correct, because uh, the post office in this facility on Gailey is in Suite 105, just not spelled quite that way, and it is 1971. Also, at 11,000 Wilshire at the Federal Building over there somewhere, not far away, like, you know, a couple blocks. Um, 11,000 Wilshire, Federal Building, number 1971, also is a valid address. That's one I've had for four decades, but... I'm finding it fascinating that somebody's decided to give me a bunch of magazines and now I get to go for them. Um, gee, how much does Kurt owe for the magazines he didn't order? Entertainment Weekly, Fortune, People, Time, Travel and Leisure. Was somebody trying to send me a message? Uh, renewal price. Normally, 269 you can get for only 53 I don't remember paying for Oh, expires date. Total price. Who paid for that? Or is this one twenty? Oh, that's what you want me to send you is one hundred twenty-three dollars for something somebody ordered that doesn't. So it's been a full year almost. Wow, for ten months I've been getting these wondering, and now I get a bill for one hundred twenty-three dollars for these magazines to a wrong address that I didn't order. And would I have ordered other ones had I been the orderer? Maybe Condé Nast, Traveler, and uh, Consumer Reports, possibly. Um, Esquire, maybe. Uh, maybe GQ. Uh, probably would have gotten Health. House Beautiful, yeah, right inside. Uh, Kiplinger's. Uh, maybe, I don't know, Kiplinger's, maybe. Men's Journal, Men's Health. I probably would have grabbed one of those. Uh, Smithsonian, I would have gotten. I definitely would have gotten that one. Um, U.S. Weekly, maybe. Travel Leisure. Um, so whoever ordered these uh, on my behalf, um, one use the wrong fourth notice. Wow. I'm just getting the fourth notice. One year, the other ones went somewhere else. Um, anyway, whoever ordered these for me, would have been nice if you paid the gift of all these wonderful magazines you ordered me um, that I barely have time to read. Gosh, I'm up for renewal soon. <laughs> anyway. So for those of you who have been giving credit and uh, other medical benefits, um, I've even found um, in medical records where I now have an 805 number and somebody answers the phone, but when I say who I am and who are they, um, they immediately hang up and they want to talk to me. Um, how did you get the doctor's office put your numbers in my files? And that explains how there's new medications I've never had or other symptoms I've never had that are now showing up on medical records 
and that made not a damn bit of sense to me. So whoever your jackasses are doing this, just remember, at some point, we're going to find you, and there's going to be lots of playing in the suit, Uncle Kurt, and Uncle Sam, and um, other enforcement agencies. And by the way, that doesn't make me a snitch bitch. It makes me standing up for my rights. And if you know anything about it, and you're keeping the lid shut because you see you know evil, hear no evil, speaking no evil bullshit, and when you find out you knew about it, you are a criminal accessory after the fact, equally as culpable as the people who committed the crime and criminal obstruction and many other charges we can hit you with. So you end up doing more time than the jackasses who originally did the crime. So if you don't want to do the time, you might want to look at our tips and rewards program that we're offering right now, because at some point, that's not going to be open to you, and you're going to get SOL when we find out you had knowledge of and sat on it. Because we're not just going after the people who did it. We're going after them and the people who supported those people, knowing they did it. Ouch, that's got to hurt, doesn't it? So it's time to get honest. What are you doing to get honest today and be a solution for harmony and peace on the planet? and not jacking strangers. And for all you people who committed felonies by charging people not bright enough to realize they shouldn't be paying somebody $1,000 that showed up on a beach with a computer and said they're a state employee and that they would get their unemployment benefits if they gave them $1,000 of it. Not only is that illegal, state employees or federal employees don't do that. And walk around looking for people and say, hey, give us your dad and we'll help you file for some fraudulent unemployment so you can get $60,000 and get their kick out of it if you even ever saw the checks or are filing for other benefits or your um, relief checks or whatever. It's become pandemic. FBI is all over the West Coast right now looking for people like you. I know they arrested a bunch of people at the Double Tree downtown that they caught in this fraud. They've been arresting people uh, in Venice and in Santa Monica, and they're running heavy teams on the West Coast. I have a feeling they're going to be running heavy teams all over North America because Uncle Sam and Dick Kiley do jack and stuff when they were giving away something to help out those in need. And for those of you who double and triple dipped, which some of you did. Oh, golly, Miss Molly. I, I know one guy who told me he was getting three unemployment checks totaling 60000 apiece. Huh? That's $180,000 this cat is pulling down. And aside from odds and end jobs, this guy has not had a job that paid half a million dollars a year that warrants $180,000 in unemployment monies that he's getting through three checks at 60K a piece. How is anybody getting unemployment checks at 60,000? What's the incentive to go back to work? You can put it on autopilot for a while and chill. And for all of you who are forgetting that at some period the grace period is over, you're gonna end up homeless if you don't stash the money away to pay your back rent and your back mortgages because these landlords aren't gonna sit around forever letting you stay rent free. Time to wake up and take responsibility. It's not a free ride. Earn your keep. And if you screw it up, maybe you should get the money back to Uncle Sam before they find you. Because when they find you, too late to negotiate. <laughs>